Hello, Fernhill Flyers. I am so pleased that you have decided to enter our public speaking competition. Um, normally, uh, we would be doing this um, outside of school. We would be going to Hitchin, Queen Mother Theatre. You would be up on stage presenting to a room full of people competing against other local schools like Hitchin Boys and the Priory. Um, however, things are different. I have flamingos in my virtual room. That's how different things have become. So thank you for signing up to do this um, speaking competition. Mrs Ellis and I are both very, very excited about it. Um, it's probably Mrs Ellis's favourite competition that the school does, um, public speaking. It's very close to her heart. And it's a very, very important skill that you guys will be honing. It will make you successful in life. If you can do successful public speaking, you're going to win at life, basically. So probably um, you're all wondering what on earth you should talk about. And that is the trickiest um, part of any um, speaking competition, deciding on a topic. Now, you're only going to need to speak for two minutes doesn't sound like a very long time but it can feel like a lifetime so when we have our first google meet i will talk to you about how you can slow down your speech how you can make yourself interesting to listen to but before we do that we're going to have a look at some topics that you might want to be talking about so one of the best places you can go to to get some ideas is this brilliant website Oxford University um, have put this together and they've shared it with us. It's called oxplore.org. And there are lots of great questions on here to get you thinking. Uh, first thing when you go to the website is this one, should we put our oceans first? So you might have, be thinking about um, global warming. You might be thinking about your interest in the environment. And um, if you click on these arrows left and right, here, could we live without laws? I suspect Donald Trump would rather like that. Um, yes or no. Um, I'll just click through to the next one. Are humans more important than other animals? So once you've had a look at Oxplore, you can just click on yes or no. There are more questions if you click on this arrow down here. Does fake news matter? Do video games cause violence? Perhaps you've got personal experience of parents saying you're not allowed to play a particular video game because it will make you violent. Does it matter who you love? That's one I think about um, uh, gender and, and um, sexuality and LGBTQ. Is there life after death? Do we see colour the same? Is sleeping more important than studying? Um, so on any of these, I'll just show you what happens. Let's click on, is there life after death? I'm going to click on no. I'm going to say no, there's not, definitely not. And what this website does is it gives you lots and lots of information. Because anyone, any idiot can stand up in front of people and say, no such thing as life after death, it's all just a load of nonsense. Anyone can say that. The difference is you will have some evidence to back it up. You can look at both sides of the argument. So it says here, is there life after death? Well, science suggests no, but maybe these kinds of things are beyond what we can prove. Don't some people live on through what they contribute and discover? Ha ha. So uh, for example, Isaac Newton is, is long dead, but actually he lives on, doesn't he? Because we follow his, um, his laws of science. He discovered gravity, is that right? Mozart, long dead. I still love listening to Mozart. Um, Amy Winehouse, dead, but we all still hear her songs on the radio. Um, so um, once you've had a look at that, you then scroll down. At what moment are you dead? Humans have always been fascinated with death and the idea of coming back to life. But is it really possible to come back from the dead? And what's the difference between a living creature and a dead body anyway? Randall Hayes delves into the scientific theories that seek to answer these age old questions. And then there's usually a little video for you to watch. Then there are some nice statistics for you to explore. You click on next. Uh, and it gives you more information, more statistics. 
about the idea of life after death. So this is a great website for you to be exploring, to give you some ideas about your topic. Um, I will see you in the Google um, Meet meeting later, and uh, I will be giving you lots and lots of help on how to structure your speech. Um, when you send me your draft copies, I can then comment on it, etc. So good luck, get thinking, get your grey matter working, and I shall see you very soon.